click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi guys, uh, in this particular video we will learn the RC phase shift oscillator but the transistor is this time JFE that is junction field effect transistor. So in this case whatever amplification we will be getting that is with the transistor JFE. So amplifier is giving 180 degree phase shift and the feedback circuit giving me 180 degree phase shift. So in all total we will be getting 360 degree phase shift to fulfill the sustained oscillation criteria that is Barkhausen criteria. So all these things we have learned why RC, why phase shift and why RC phase shift with 3 RC circuit to get 180 degree phase shift. So in this particular video we will focus more or less criteria for frequency for sustained oscillation in JFET oscillator. Here in this particular uh, screen, I will first draw the JFET CS amplifier. Then we will be drawing the complete feedback circuit and that comprises of completely combinedly the feedback circuit that is oscillator. In this particular circuit you observe carefully that I have drawn this is the transistor which we are using as MOSFET right. So instead of that we can also we can also use junction field effect transistor. Why I am keeping MOSFET because you feel that even if I put MOSFET then also there will not be any harm in my particular circuit as oscillator. So even if you put MOSFET or JFET the circuit will treat as oscillator only. So even if you put as JFET like this okay so that will give you the same operation as far as oscillator is concerned. So for this particular circuit it's not R dash it's only R this is because I'm considering the open circuit right. So whatever circuit I'm getting with the value of R that will not be with the resistance HIE or beta RE or R pi that value will become infinity because IG ultimately is equal to zero. So I have to consider the voltage gain so I'm saying that quickly I will draw the AC equivalent model. So you can also draw that AC equivalent model along with the feedback. So try it out and then commit to me. So in all, we have drawn the complete AC equivalent model for RC phase shift oscillator along with the JFET. So this is basically the drain side of JFET. This is basically the source side of JFET and here we are getting the feedback at the gate side. So as gate resistance is infinity, so I have to keep this particular things open and this complete thing is connected here somewhere, right? So that complete resistance I'm keeping it ground. So I'm saying that whatever I have formed that gives me one, two, three, four, five loops. I want to reduce that particular loop. So this RO and RD will be in parallel and with that I can do the source transformation. So we'll say that modifying the circuit by using source transformation. My circuit will look like this will be we can say that it's nothing but rd dash and this rd dash is nothing but the parallel combination of rd and small ro then we will be having a voltage source which is in this particular direction and then this one two and three loops so we will say we will directly draw this Okay, 
whatever we have got is nothing but this particular as let's say v a let's say this is v b this is v c and this is nothing but v f i have got okay this is nothing but your v f okay so now this value of voltage is nothing but gm vgs into rd dash so i will name this as gm vgs into r d dash okay so far we have got three uh, loops right and i want this time voltage by voltage ratio because we are dealing with the mosfet or jfet which is voltage control device so we will say ab whatever we are getting that is nothing but vf divided by vi okay if we apply kcl apply kcl at a b and c apply kcl at a b and c whatever things we will be getting as see this particular circuit first of all i can say that this is the node no this is not the node only two branches this is the node where i will be getting this is one current this is another current and this is another current right then we will be getting this that where this is another current this is another current and this is another current so two equations i will be getting so use these two equations to have vb minus va divided by 1 upon sc right that is the first equation i will be getting let's see this is c this is c and this is c this is r this is r and this is r right vb upon r vb minus va divided by 1 upon sc vb minus vc divided by 1 upon sc so we will be saying that vb minus vc divided by 1 upon sc plus vb divided by r is equal to c. this is the first equation i will be getting second equation i will be getting as from node c vc minus vb divided by 1 upon sc vc divided by r and vc minus vf this is vf only divided by 1 upon sc so here we will be writing vc minus vb divided by 1 upon sc plus vc divided by r plus vc minus vf divided by 1 upon sc is equal to 0 that is equation number 2 again one equation i will be getting as let's see to it that what is the value of va va is nothing but gm vgs into rd dash plus the voltage across this rd dash so i will be saying that but va is equal to what is va va is equal to gm into minus probably because minus sign is there c this is minus sign so i will say that va is nothing but minus gm vgs into rd dash plus voltage across rd dash gm vgs into rd dash plus voltage across rd dash now i'm saying that as i know that when i'm taking the parallel combination of ro and rd dash as compared to r that is feedback resistances in the rc network as compared to that r rd is very very small in all the type of oscillators so as rd is very very small than r so v r d dash is negligible okay so we are taking it in negligible form so with this third equation i will discard this particular part to zero right so that particular voltage drop across that rd dash is very very less now with these three equations with these three equations and few values i am considering as alpha is equal to 1 upon omega into rc right so with this value 
and all these three equations i will say this is the fourth equation so by putting four equation number four in all these three equations i will be getting vf divided by vi okay so let us see whatever vi i am getting that is nothing but the va only so we will say that vf divided by vi is equal to minus gm rd dash divided by 1 minus 5 alpha square plus j into alpha cube minus 6 alpha straightforward right now we have to consider that whatever value ratio i have got that is nothing but the ab i know that for sustained oscillation for sustained oscillation i have to have ab should be real to have ab as a real part i will say that the denominator ka imaginary part will be discarded that is equal to equated to zero so now we have to say why it is equal to zero because the numerator part is real so real by real is real real by imaginary is imaginary so i have to take this imaginary part equal to zero so if we do that then we will be getting the frequency of oscillation so if ab is a real part then i can say that alpha cube minus 6 alpha is equal to zero now we will put equation number 4 in above equation that is in this equation alpha is equal to 1 upon omega 0 into rc so we will say alpha is equal to omega rc inverse that is with cube minus 6 into 1 upon omega rc is equal to 0 i know that 1 upon omega rc cannot be equal to 0 in any case so as at omega is equal to omega 0 1 upon omega 0 rc will not be equal to 0 right so omega is equal to omega 0 omega z 1 upon omega 0 rc will not be equal to 0 so we can say that at omega is equal to omega 0 1 upon omega 0 rc the whole square will be equal to 6 clear from here we will be getting interesting thing that is omega 0 is equal to 1 upon under root of 6 rc this is nothing but the frequency of oscillation in radian per second so here i can say that this is nothing but the requirement that we have obtained this is nothing but the frequency of oscillation in radian per second clear now we will be again getting the frequency of oscillation in hertz so just by multiply with 2 pi and take inverse root 6 rc this will be your frequency of oscillation in frequency of oscillation in hertz right now one more finding is remaining that is how much the value of the gain parameter i have to consider as far as forward block amplifier is considered so i know that in this particular form whatever i have obtained that is minus gmrd dash divided by 1 minus 5 alpha square plus j into alpha cube minus 6 alpha i have discarded this particular part because i know that the particular ab is your um, gain parameter that is product of gain parameter that should be equal to 1 so if i equate it to 1 and keeping this as 0 and putting the value of alpha 0 square that is alpha at omega is equal to omega 0 so what we will be getting because omega 0 as it is 1 upon root 6 into rc so what i will get alpha is nothing but root 6 so we'll say that as omega 0 rc is equal to 1 upon root 6 so alpha at omega is equal to omega 0 that is equal to 1 upon omega 0 rc that is equal to root 6 
right and that value we will put in equation of vf divided by vi okay so from equation we'll write that equation again gm rd dash divide by 1 minus 5 alpha square plus j into alpha cube at minus 6 alpha now we'll say that at omega is equal to omega 0 alpha cube minus 6 alpha is equal to 0 right and alpha square is equal to root alpha square will be root 6 ka square that is 6 only so this will be 6 clear so now i will be getting that the value of gm rd dash divide by 1 minus 5 alpha square is equal to 1 we'll write this as as magnitude criteria of oscillator that is a b mod is equal to 1 We'll keep this equation equated to 1 and then I will be getting that gm rd dash is equal to we are, be, we are getting minus right so minus gm rd dash divide by 1 minus 5 into 6 right equal to 1 so I will be getting gm rd dash that should be equal to 29 okay so this is how we have to get that gmrd dash is equal to 29 or more or less i have to say that at least it should have the value 29 so this is nothing but the gain criteria we all know that this gmrd dash is nothing but the gain of the forward block amplifier so i can say that this is nothing but gain criteria of rc phase shift oscillator with j fit or MOSFET or FET. So far we have discussed about the RC phase shift oscillator with junction field effect transistor or MOSFET as a transistor. So in this particular video we can conclude that the frequency of oscillator should be 1 upon 2 pi RC into under root of root 6 and your gain of this particular oscillator should be gmrd dash is equal to 29 so with this particular concept we will conclude this particular video in further more videos we will learn the wayne bridge oscillator and the lc lc phase shift oscillator as well thank you so much for watching this particular video subscribe this channel of ikida videos thank you so much